Hello and welcome to another video where we focus on scroll saw blades. In this one, the main focus is going to be on the flying Dutchman blades. So we know how important blades are and we've looked at the Pegasus blades in a previous video in focus. Check that out if you want to see how they get on. But in this one, we're doing the same tests using hardwood. So we work in hardwood. I've again picked a challenging piece of hardwood. I've marked out the same tests using that heart shaped key ring with the internal heart shape as well. So we've got an external cut and also the internal cut, that pierce work for us to do our tests. Hopefully this will be useful. Hopefully it'll be interesting and we might possibly find a flying Dutchman blade that will be as useful to us as that Nikwa number nine reverse tooth blade. So let's get into it. Let's do some tests. The first one is the flying Dutchman number nine reverse tooth blade. And what we found with this one in terms of its performance, it is exactly the same as the Nikwa speed reverse tooth blade. So if you're asking for our thoughts on it, that is one of the two best blades we have ever worked with. What we would like to try out with this blade over a longer period of time is how long do they last? If they last longer than the Nikwa speed blades, then they would be superior because they work out cheaper to buy. Also then it gives you two options where they're just as good as one another. So if in your area, so for example in the USA, if it's easier to get hold of Flying Dutchman, reverse tooth blades, buy them. They're just as good as the Nikwa Speeds. On to our second Flying Dutchman blade, and that is the Ultra Reverse Tooth Blades. And this one again, it performed really very respectably. It had a quality finish, quite a fine finish, better than most of the blades that I've worked with. However, it did have a slower feed speed, and there was slightly more work on the bottom edge than some of the other reverse tooth blades, including the Flying Dutchman number nine reverse tooth and the Nikwa Speed reverse tooth. A very decent blade for working in hardwood, but not the best one that we've worked with. Onto our third blade, and this is something that I've explored on many times and have never had much luck with. And this time we are trying a spiral blade, and this was a Flying Dutchman number five spiral reverse blade. What I would say with this one, it is the best spiral blade that I have ever worked with. Having said that, I personally do not get on with spiral blades. I'm working in hardwoods and I generally find that they are not as capable as, for example, the reverse tooth blade for what I want to do. This one, if you are competent with spiral blades, I would suggest that this is a really good one to work with. Have a go with them, see how you feel. But it's a slower speed when it comes to the feed and it is also a poor finish when compared with most of the other scroll saw blades. Now the final one that we come on to is the two-way cut. The number nine, again, it's the Flying Dutchman. It's a good blade. It has, in my opinion, more finishing required. It seemed to be inferior to the other reverse tooth blades that I tried from Flying Dutchman. Those again, those are my own personal experiences based on what I found it was capable of doing. I just found that it wasn't quite as good when it came to the finishing that it left you. There was a little bit of burning, possibly issues then with the feed speeds. So that one would have been behind the other two blades that I worked with. So there you go. Those are the trials that we ran with the Flying Dutchman blades. To sum up, I found working with Pegasus blades I find all of their blades to have been of a very decent standard when working with hardwoods. My own favourites though is that Nikwa Speed Reverse Tooth Blade. However, I personally have found that whilst the Nikwa Speed Reverse Tooth Blade is my preference, the Flying Dutchman Number 9 Reverse Tooth Blade is equal to it. 
and I'm interested in the future to see if it lasts longer. The new addition from Pegasus of the hook blade, that is something that should definitely be of interest in anyone who's working in thicker hardwoods. That was my favourite when it came to Flying Dutchman, is that number 9 reverse tooth blade. Excellent blade, and my first impression is as good as the Nikwa number 9 speed reverse tooth blades. The spiral blade then from Flying Dutchman, that's the best spiral blade that I've ever worked with. So to rank those blades in order, my favourite Flying Dutchman blade for working in hardwood was the number 9 reverse tooth blade followed by the number 9 Ultra Reverse Tooth Blade. Next on the list then, we have that two-way cut, number 9, and the final one, the Spiral Blade. Probably a personal thing, I just don't get on with Spiral Blades. Hopefully that's useful, hopefully it's interesting. Let us know in the comments section if you have any questions about those trials and any more information regarding the tests that we did. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. And again, thank you all for watching.